be great. Come on, get your friends. We're going to create some distant lands. Mean the sky and no one edge. The fun will never end. It is be great. Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to Speak Rate episode 8 uh, in this wonderful reboot season 3, whatever it's called, uh, that I'm doing right here. Creating help yourself in 24 hours and recording it and having a magical journey with you guys uh, at the same time. In this episode, I will be working with uh, Siri. That's about it. No, I will also be talking with gameplay, but mostly Siri. Um, I don't know if you guys are getting bored with scenery yet. I was sure was when I created it, but like, oh, more scenery. And at the same time, I was like, oh my god, I only have this many hours to finish it, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so much angst. Uh, and speaking of 24 hours, before I forget this, which I will do in like two minutes, so I better hurry it up. Oh my god, in two minutes, I won't be able to talk about it. Uh, bad jokes, yay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if I publish this on Sunday, which I totally will, because I am such a good, uh, such so good at keeping my promises and keeping a new episode up on every Sunday, uh, you will, we, me and my team and another team will just have finished Crate Marathon number four, and this is a wonderful community event currently run by Grey Pants. Um, he's like, dude, yeah, <laughs> uh, and. Uh, Basically, the marathon is about uh, what is it? Four times four. That is uh, totally a number <clears throat> that I actually know. Let's see, four four times two is sixteen. <laughs> uh, sixteen creators get together and make a level together in twenty four hours. And how do we do this when there's only a four player limit? I hear you ask. Well. Um, you split it up in passes, so you can be four players at once in create mode. So what you do is that uh, group one, which consists of four players, of course, uh, they create for four hours. And then group two jumps in, creates for four hours on the same level, gets the level and creates for that. And then group uh, three jumps in, creates on that. Um, so that's the sort of cycle we got. Uh, and and then you, you blah. <laughs> when all groups are created for four hours each, group one hops in again, creates for another four hours, and so it goes on until every group has created for eight hours in total, and the level has been created on for 24 hours in total, and then we publish it. So, if you're watching this on Sunday, which is today, um, later you will also be able to do it, but you should totally play the level we created, and there are actually two teams in this competition. Uh, so a total of 16 times 2 is 32 creators. I am actually pretty good at math. I know it's it's not easy to believe, but I have gone to moderately hard math courses and I have succeeded. So it's weird that I can't even do math like that, but whatever. <laughs> a total of 32 creators have gone together and created two levels. And the levels are sort of competing against each other and seeing, oh, who can make the best level? Oh. Um, and you should play them and go, whoa, this level is cool, or this level is horrible, woo! And have a good time. So, if you go into the description, you will find the levels there! And you can play them and have a good time. So I just wanted to sort of get that out there for you, because... Uh, uh, I'm sure I'm proud of the levels. <laughs> I'm recording this on Friday, so I have no idea how the level will turn out, and I'm very excited because the marathon begins tomorrow, so oh my god, hype! Uh, and when I publish this, it will all be over. Such a shame. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, that's it. I have, I have actually abandoned scenery making, it seems, and actually went over to creating this weird ass tower here. Um, so that's nice. No more scenery, yay! Um, it's kind of weird. Oh, hi. Right. Like combining scenery and gameplay. Because, uh, sure, you can make the co gameplay cardboard and it can be cool gameplay, but gameplay is not really anything with scenery, without scenery. So you have to sort of do a combining of them both. And, uh, you know, you, sure, you can just stick it to cardboard and have the colors match and call it scenery, but what you really want to do is. Uh, Probably to sort of alter the how the gameplay looks in order to lay, like fit it to the scenery. Like uh, you don't want the scenery to just be a backdrop for the gameplay. You want the sort of the stuff you play through. Like 
Mm, how do I describe this? How do I describe this? Imagine like... Uh, imagine all the bad metaphors. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. But like if I make a cardboard thing in the front layer and then I put, put a bunch of scenery in the back layers that have nothing to do with the cardboard thing. The cardboard thing is all in grid and is horrible. Well, not horrible, it's, it's got game, good gameplay, but the cobble thing is all in green, the scenery is all without green, because it's scenery, you're not in green for that. But the cobble thing doesn't really fit with the scenery, so you're like, oh, what is happening? Why is, doesn't it fit the scenery? You want the cardboard, the gameplay, to fit with the scenery. Okay, have I made myself clear, sort of, maybe? I don't know. So that's sort of what I'm trying to do here. Um, make the gameplay scenery somehow <laughs> and the next step that I have not mastered at all for now uh, but I'm trying to master it in new levels and you know always trying to do to try new stuff and whatever is to uh, sort of combine scenery and gameplay and story so that oh hey maybe you're playing through this huge uh, city for example and I'm actually making a city level so that's why I'm taking that example right now uh, but maybe you're playing through a city then obviously the scenery and gameplay should be city you should be running on rooftops not like random cardboard cardboard sticky cardboard like it is right now you should be running on rooftops and swinging on lanterns and there should be people everywhere and at the same time you should be story in the background or whatever I don't know <laughs> and everything should sort of fit and, you know to me combining I don't know if this is sort of I know it's kind of hard to grasp because I can't really grasp it myself <laughs> again I'm just standing there what am I doing what am I thinking nobody knows uh, keep in mind this, this is eight times sped up so I'm like whoa what am I gonna do here what am I was thinking about oh well um, but yeah combining gameplay and scenery is hard for me and story as well like scenery that makes sense for the story <laughs> I have not succeeded in that at all so far, but it's a bad challenge. Mm. 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 I I keep forgetting to like breathe. I'm like I, I I just have so much to say, and and then I just forget to breathe, and then I have to make this huge ass uh, what is it called? Jones. I John. Oh, whatever, I'm not gonna talk about that. Anyway, I'm gonna have some silence just because I'm so embarrassed about how to pronounce the joke. I am back and I am not really embarrassed about my pronunciation anymore. I have I have grown as a person and gone past that. I hope you enjoyed the little song bit. Uh, I know it was short, but uh, maybe you got a taste for it. That was uh, Days to Come by Bonobo. So just YouTube that bit and have a good time because I love that. I, that whole album is very good. The whole album is called that too, so that's cool. Here you can see me replacing a... Uh, a little gameplay section with a better gameplay section because uh, the first one kind of sucked um, you know it was basically I, I think I said it before yeah I think I said it before I was like in future episodes I will be replacing this section because it was bad and this is the episode I said that sort of in an older episode if you didn't catch that and uh, this is the episode in which I am replacing that section yay so that's cool <laughs> Doing some replacing, but but I do not want to talk about about that for too long because uh, I want to talk about sped play. Yeah, I was thinking maybe after I'm done with this speed quit madness, I won't be publishing 
Wait. Yeah, after I'm done with this Speak Rate Madness and having done all, all 12 episodes, uh, there are 24 hours created and there are 2 hours per episode and if you do the math you will see that, oh, that amounts to 12 episodes. But anyway, uh, when I'm done with that, maybe it'll be cool to do some spell play, I was thinking maybe, because I have had some couple of friends where we were like, oh, maybe you should do some spell play. I was like, yeah, maybe I should do some spell play, yay! So I was slightly wondering if you guys would be interested in that, in that idea. Uh, I did two episodes of Spread Play before, and I don't know, I think they're kind of too slow and not really edited at all. But maybe I could do some episodes where it's not too horrible. Uh, I'm kind of scared, because, uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm kind of critical when I'm playing levels, like... Uh, I have a ten tendency to get mad, not because I die, but because things are so bad, maybe one could say. Like, for example, if I if I play <laughs> if I play and there is a place where I should be able to lay a switch but cannot lay a switch, I like instantly get super mad, like fucking goddamn hawk. You didn't hear me swearing there, I was totally not swear. Uh, so it's kind of if I were to record that, I would get uh, I could make people sad where I would have kindly asked me to play their creation they put very much love and, and effort into. So I'm kinda scared, but it will still be fun, maybe. So maybe if you guys are interested in more spell play, where I just play levels and and record and play loud, maybe some sort of review. Not really reviews because I'm too lazy to reviews, but some sort of playthrough and being like, oh this and this and this I liked, la 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 la, la and having fun. You guys could totally um, Totally, sort of tell me if you want that. <laughs> uh, and maybe suggest levels for me at some point if I do it. So maybe that'll be cool. Yeah, if you want to put that out there. So let me know in the comments. Like, oh, Miska, do some spell play. And I will do some spell play for you. Um, just wanted to let you know. Yeah. But that is not all I want to talk about in this episode, spell play and gameplay stuff. I am actually going to leave the subject of this level we're making right now because I've been talking about this level exclusively for 8 episodes and it's getting kind of, I don't know, I want to talk about other things, you know? If you watch old Speak Rate episodes you will see me going on tangents that last for like entire episodes about, I don't know, food and whatever. It's freaking Pocket Mood Podcast Speak Rate Edition. That's a, that's a food reference for you guys out there who have listened to Pocket Mood Podcast. Uh, probably like two of you tops. <laughs> Anyway, I want to talk about my uh, current project, just in the last ending here, before we leave for today. Um, and I was creating a level where you just press a button, literally, and I won't talk about that any more than that. But I was creating the level and it was kind of depressing, so I was like, oh, alright, let's make a new level, because why not? Um, and this project is sort of, I started doing it last week, and it's a lot of fun, and the gimmick I always have some sort of gimmick, you know, but a gimmick is that there is no gimmick. So, usually in my LPP2 levels, you sort of have, uh, you have, uh, well, you have a crate nature that does something cool, like in this level, or you have a bot that does something cool, like double jumping, or you have a freaking pony that you roll around with. Uh, that sounds dirty, I'm sorry about that. You have a, you are a pony that rolls around and have fun and sh shit's rainbow and whatever uh, but in the level I'm creating uh, there is no gimmick so I'm sort of just relying on good old LBP1 stuff actually no no balance pads or anything like that just good old LP1 physics and point bubbles and wonderful stuff and it's really fun to create and I'm really excited for it <laughs> maybe in the next episode I could share some more of that stuff uh, with you guys. Uh, the level won't be speak created because it's a freaking pain to record man and also to edit. Like this is work man. <laughs> Takes me a while, yeah? Uh, but I will, maybe I'll, I will actually finish it and uh, have a level for you guys. That'll be a lot of fun. I would like that. Yeah. Um, so just wanted to put it out there. Uh, I might talk more about the next episode because it's really exciting to me. Um, episode 8 of Speak Rate is ending. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, instant stream of me talking, never really stopping for a breath. <laughs> it's weird, I'm extra hyper today, maybe I drank too much coffee. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, I will see you on next Sunday. 
And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, goodbye, dogs and cats and butter badgers. Woo!